course grid is another add-on. So you would just go to add-ons, uh, install and activate that. And then whenever uh, that's activated, that learn dash course grid block will appear. So I'm going to go down to uh, my pages that I've created. I've already created a course page where I want to add my course catalog. So I'm gonna click on courses. So what you would do if you're starting from scratch, you would um, create a page and uh, you title it whatever you want, courses, my, um, course catalog, whatever you want. And then um, let me delete this so I can show you how to add it. So um, I just created my course page. I need to add the uh, course builder block. So I would just click add block right here. And then I can search for course grid. And you'll see right here, learn dash course grid. You just click that and add it. And then you'll see um, the block uh, uh, toolbar on the right hand side of how I can change this. So if I wanted to change the um, cards, I don't really like this look. I want it to you know, look a little differently. I can do that. Um, I can also change how many are on, uh, how many columns there are. And it will show in real time, um, you know, how it changes. Um, okay, and then, so I know one of the questions was, how do I s sort my courses the way I want them to? So there's a couple ways that you can order your courses. Um, first off, you can do, uh, if you were, if you had groups, um, you could also use the course grid for your groups. So instead of having um, a course uh, catalog, you could have a groups catalog. Um, so that's another great feature, especially if you are bundling a lot of uh, courses together, you could have a package page or whatever you want to do. Um, and then here is where you would order by. So right now it's by ID, but if I wanted to do it by um, title or um, published date, anything like that, you can change it. So, and if you wanted to do menu order, what you could do is go inside each course, change the menu uh, order there. So have, uh, you know, the first course you want to appear, have that be one, two, and so on. And then you can use this option and customize the order. And then also you can do it descending and ascending. And there are other features with course grid. You can see um, I can remove certain features. Um, you know, this this is the user's uh, the username. That's pretty ugly. You'd rather have it be the author's name. So that would be a setting that you would change on the back end. But if you wanted to just get rid of that, um, you can uh, hide things like that altogether. Um, so it's it is super customizable. Um, you can add filters. Uh, so if you wanted to have a filter at the top and search by category and things like that, you can do that as well.